Rhythm Banks is a gate sequencer for Falcon. MIDI notes come in, but not all of them come out. We're starting here from scratch with just long notes, but the gator only progresses when MIDI notes come in, so I'm gonna put an arpeggiator before it, so that will move the gator forward at the rate of the arpeggiator. I'm going to add the gator script now, and let's see how it works. I'll open some notes on the gator by clicking on the sequencer. I'm gonna choose a pattern of length 6 so it's uh, polyrhythmic and a bit more interesting. Let's turn off the delay so we can hear the effect a bit better. The idea of the script is to allow you to store up to 8 different gator patterns, each one stored in a bank. Each pattern can also have its own different parameters, like for example, pattern length. To change the selected bank from the DAW, I need to assign the bank knob to a host automation. With that, I can change the bank from the automation lane. I'm going to use the second pattern on the places that have extra notes. Now let's have the R play notes rather than chords, because the chords are a bit annoying. Pattern shift knob, which I'll explain in more detail later, allows me to play with the sequencer's positioning without overrunning the bank. I'll get into this a bit later. Now to explain the beats knob, I'll switch off the melody and the effects so we can hear clearly what's going on. The sequencer automatically resets every certain number of beats. That number is controlled from this knob. You can hear that in this polyrhythmic pattern with low beat value, the rhythm is synced to the beats more often. Now I'm going to try to find a nice melodic pattern, and let's see how it plays out.
Okay, now we're going to explore the controls a bit more in depth, and I'm going to start with a blank project uh, so we can hear what we're doing better. Let's start by writing some notes. All right, that's annoying enough. I'm going to add the script first by adding an empty custom script and then loading the rhythm banks file. Notice how the sequencer only progresses on incoming note, and if notes are played as a chord, they count as one note. So right now the sequencer will progress only once for our old pattern, which is not what we want. So let's add an arpeggiator before it, that will cause the pattern to move forward. Now we can enable some notes by pressing on the buttons of the sequencer. I can change the length of the pattern by changing this knob. Now I'm choosing a 3, which causes a polyrhythm. Basically the sequencer doesn't reset on every beat. This little hop in the rhythm is caused by the fact that the sequencer does force the sequence to restart with a beat, and you can control with this knob how many beats before the sequencer forces the sequence to restart. With the value of 1, it restarts every beat. When changing to a new bank, all the controls are reset, and let's make some pattern. I can switch between the banks, and every bank remembers its own parameters. The one exception is the pattern shift. This allows you to move the notes around in the pattern, but it doesn't store the changes in the bank. The idea is to allow you to create variations with automation without corrupting your original pattern. Next up is the reset button. This one forces the pattern to restart when you click it. When I was making this video I found out that you can't automate this button, unfortunately, and hopefully by the time you watch this video I'll change it to something that's automatable. But whenever you click the reset, the sequencer restarts the sequence. It's not strictly necessary to use an arpeggiator, we can just create our own short notes and that will also cause the sequencer to move forward. So let's try that. Now I'm gonna try to add my other script, which generates random melodies from incoming chords, and let's see if we can find something nice.
So this melody script is actually an ARP in itself, uh, so we don't actually need those short notes, we can return to long notes. That will allow us to use the ARP to control the rate the notes play in. Let's try triplets. This concludes the demo of the Rhythm Bank script. I hope you find it useful. And if you have any feedback or ideas, please let me know. And I'll wrap this video by playing again the original piece I played in the intro just to cleanse your mind from this annoying sound. Thanks for watching.